To this day, Dr. Rick Saker is not certain how he contracted the Ebola virus. Although the 2016 inductee into the Global Medical Missions Hall of Fame was not directly involved with the care of Ebola patients two years ago, the crisis was all around him. Elwa, eternal love winning Africa, the hospital in Liberia where Rick had served on and off for 15 years and where he had served for a number of those years as medical director, was still seeing patients. Located in the suburbs of Monrovia, the center of the outbreak, people were afraid to come to Elwa even though it had a separate Ebola isolation unit. The community was so frightened that some expectant mothers were in labor for a week to a week and a half. Rick, a medical volunteer for North Carolina-based SIM, a Christian organization, decided to return to Liberia, where he had worked for more than a decade, answering a call that came when two healthcare workers fell ill after contracting the deadly virus. Of the 15 deliveries that Elwa performed during that period, 13 babies died in the uterus before the mother made it to the hospital. Rick isn't certain, but he suspects he may have contracted Ebola while performing a cesarean section on a patient to deliver her stillborn child. The woman didn't have the typical signs of the disease, including lack of fever or vomiting. Rick isolated himself, but he developed a fever and bad chills. He had no other symptoms for three days, but his fever didn't break. Within 12 to 14 hours of being diagnosed, the U.S. State Department offered to fly Rick to the Nebraska Medical Center in Omaha, where a special Ebola treatment unit was in place. These physicians handled his care. The third American diagnosed with Ebola, he was hospitalized for three weeks, given an experimental drug and blood serum from his colleague Kent Brantley, one of the physicians Rick replaced at Elwa. Upon his return to his wife Debbie and their home in Worcester, Massachusetts, full recovery took several months. He suffered a respiratory infection, muscle weakness, and eye inflammation. Not when to be stopped, Rick returned to his missionary duties in Liberia in January of 2015. That country, like Rick, is now Ebola-free. Ebola is just one challenge that Rick, the youngest of four sons, has faced in a missionary career that spans more than two decades. A 1984 Brown University biochemistry major and a 1989 Massachusetts Medical School graduate, Rick has cared for Africa sick through years of AIDS, civil war, and reconstruction. Rick's first trip to Liberia for one year came between his third and fourth years of medical school beginning in 1987. He and his new wife, a junior high school teacher he met at Brown, knew they wanted to spend a year overseas on a mission trip before they had children. Ironically, if not for Debbie, Rick wouldn't have gone. He contacted 10 hospitals, but none wanted a medical student for more than two months. However, teachers were in demand. They wanted her and took him. The couple had sons Max and Jared when they moved to Liberia in 1995. The relocation lasted all of one year. Liberia was in the midst of a civil war. As quickly as he came, Rick had to go. An evacuation of health care workers and their families was ordered. The New York Times ran a picture of our awardee and others resting amidst the chaos. He didn't stay away for long, returning one year later to help reopen Elwa Hospital, which had been looted and vandalized. One year after that, the Sacra family, which now included son Caleb, returned full-time to Liberia. From 1998 to 2010, Rick helped lead the medical staff at Elwa and taught medical students at the University of Liberia Medical School. He also spent time in Greenville, Liberia, when Elwa sponsored a revitalization project at a hospital in that city. One of the greatest challenges he's faced in Africa is AIDS, where the focus is on education. Food is used as a part of the counseling program. The seeds that are planted provide great yields, and they do much more than quell hunger. Planting seeds is what Rick continues to do. His long-term desire is to train Liberian family practice physicians, knowing that whether it's AIDS, Ebola, or another disease, that the health care system there must be strengthened. Debbie's husband has returned to Liberia eight times in the past three years, now splitting time between that country and their home, where he is a family medicine faculty physician at the University of Massachusetts Medical School. A survivor who has cared for the sick through civil war, reconstruction, AIDS, and the Ebola epidemic, a man who nearly gave his own life to help improve the lives of others, Dr. Rick Sacra is the newest member of the Global Medical Missions Hall of Fame Class of 2016.